Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to look at fun and flirty dresses for all occasions from Mod Lily. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. I do want to say a huge thank you to Mod Lily for sponsoring this video. But you ladies know that I will always give you my honest opinion. I do have a discount code for you. It's TK59. I will put it in the description box below. I want to get right to the fun part, the try-ons. As soon as I took this dress out of the package and steamed it, I knew that this would be the dress that I would wear for the talking portion of this video. I think this color is gorgeous. They're calling this the puff sleeve belted purple round neck dress. I want to point out that this is definitely more of a lavender than a purple. Just wanted to point that out. I do have a true purple dress coming up and that shade of purple is gorgeous, but I digress. The fabric on this one is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So it has just a little bit of stretch, not a lot. This does have easy care and instructions, which you know is my favorite. It's machine wash cold and you can tumble or hang to dry. Because of the high polyester content, I'm sure that this would be fine in the dryer for a couple of moments. This dress features easy pullover styling. It has this flattering banded round neck. The bodice is a little bit fitted, but then it flares out into a gorgeous A-line shape. And then these pretty puff sleeves, which I'm such a big fan of. It also has a self-tie so that you can cinch it in at the waist, whatever's comfortable for you. And then it has a midi length a-line shape. There is so much that I love about this particular dress. Obviously the color is striking. I look at it in the viewfinder and I think it is so pretty. I like this rounded neckline. It doesn't come up too high. It doesn't come down too low. There is a keyhole in the front, but even with my narrow shoulders, absolutely no cleavage shows. In fact, if I were to describe this dress, I would say that it is very elegant and demure. It also has a self-tie at the waist so that you can really cinch it in and customize the fit. It does have a back zipper and it goes all the way down below the waist. I had no problem getting this on by myself and that's saying a lot. I feel like this dress would work for a number of special occasions. It could also be dressed down a little bit, but it is a very classic refined and elegant dress. You might want to wear it if you're a guest at a wedding or maybe you're going to a baby shower or you're going out for a nice dinner with your significant other. Either way, I think you'll feel very pretty in this dress. Let's look at the next piece. I also wanted to show a more casual beachy style dress. So I chose this one from Mod Lily. They're calling this the off the shoulder navy blue double side pocket dress. It is under $30. Again, great price point. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. This one also has relatively easy care instructions as all of these dresses do. You can either machine wash cold or hand wash. I think you know which one I'm going to go with. And then you have the option to hang or to tumble dry. This dress features easy pullover styling. It has secure elastic at the shoulders. That is so important with a dress that's styled this way. And then it has this pretty flounce at the top. This goes all the way around. And then there's comfortable elastic at the waist that cinches in the waist. You could wear this with a belt or not. I pulled a wide stretch belt out of my closet just to see how it looked. And I really liked that look a lot. This dress does have side pockets that are sewn into the seam. And when I wasn't using the pockets, I found that they really blended in with the seams well. I love the casual vibe of this. How pretty would this be to take on a cruise or a beach vacation or even a garden party if you're invited to one? I love the flounce detail. Again, this really balances out my figure. And then the elastic just cinches it in just enough but wasn't too tight. I also love the fact that this dress has rounded walking slits. Now, if you are substantially taller than I am, this may fit you more at a midi length. Because I am 5'4", this fit me almost like a maxi dress. I want to talk about the fabric for just a moment. This feels like your favorite well-worn t-shirt. This is by far my favorite fabrication 
of all of these dresses from Mod Lily. I found this to be as comfortable as a nightgown. Now granted, this is more of a casual style, so I would expect that, but this has such a nice feel to it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought this was so flattering. You can wear this with wedges, you can wear this with flip-flops, and anywhere in between. Love this for vacation, for beach, or even an evening out if you're going to sit out on a terrace and have dinner or lunch. I think this is so pretty. I would love to know what you think about this one. Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. That way I'll know that you want to see more videos just like this one. Let's look at the next piece. This next dress caught my eye because of this striking color. Now they call this rust on the website, but this definitely in person is more of a cantaloupe or a tangerine. I thought this would be a really fun one to try. They're calling this the flounce rust orange v-neck swing hem dress. It is under $30. I cannot get over the pricing on the Mod Lily website. The fabric on this one is 100% polyester. Now typically I avoid polyester unless a piece is sleeveless. Then I don't mind it because you're still getting air circulation. This one also has easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold and hang or tumble to dry. This features easy pullover styling with a flattering V neckline. It has this fun and flirty tiered ruffle effect all around the collarbone. It is just so pretty and feminine in my opinion. This does have a fitted bodice and then as I mentioned it has a zipper and then it flares out into an A-line. Because of the way the bodice is made on this dress, it is very figure flattering right up to about the rib cage, and then it falls gently away into a classic A-line silhouette. The skirt is midi length, which is a great length for most people. Now, as much as I love a classic little black dress, I personally absolutely love color, especially bold pops of color. And when I was looking through my closet, I realized that I had absolutely nothing in this color. I find that on me, whenever a dress has a flounce detail at the top, it really helps to balance out my figure because I do have narrow shoulders. I do want to point out that all of the dresses that I'm sharing with you in this video, I did take a handheld steamer to. Obviously, if they're being shipped in a poly bag, there's going to be some wrinkling, but I have to say that it took very minimal effort to get the wrinkles out. Even on this one with the detailed double ruffle, the steamer knocked the wrinkles right out of this. I think that's to be expected anytime you order anything online and it's being shipped but I love the color of this one. I would love to know what you think of this one though, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Let's look at the next piece. How pretty would this one be if you're going on vacation, maybe a tropical cruise? I love the classic black and white color and the pattern on this one. They're calling this the drawstring waist geometric print maxi dress. It is under $30. I cannot believe it. It comes in sizes small through 2XL. Now as far as the fabric content, I do have to point out a little bit of a discrepancy, but I told Mod Lily that I would give an honest review, and when I notice things like this, I always talk about them, because it's things that I have questions about typically. On the website, it says that the fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex, but when I looked at the tag on the dress, the tag says that it is 35% cotton and 65% polyester. I have to tell you that I believe that the information on the Mod Lily website is correct. I honestly do not feel cotton in this dress, so I would go with what it says on the website. The care instructions are super easy. It's just machine wash cold, and then you can tumble or hang to dry. I think either method in this dress would come out just fine. This dress features a flattering surplus V neckline. It has fully adjustable straps, which I personally appreciate because I always need to judge them a little bit to get the perfect fit, and not having adjustable straps for me is a deal breaker so I was really happy to see that on this dress and then one of my favorite features and I lean toward dresses that have this treatment is this has a smocked back which not only makes it very comfortable but it also really gives a custom fit I have quite a few dresses that have this smocked back detail and I wear them often because I feel like they just look more flattering this dress does have a working drawstring at the waist for even more customization so if you really want to cinch in that 
that waist you can do it or you can just wear that drawstring loosely tied and then it has a figure flattering a-line skirt my eye always goes to a classic black and white dress i just think it is so chic and so effortless and so elegant I was worried that this might be a little bit low cut on me, but because it does have these adjustable straps, I had no problem whatsoever. And here you can see the smocking on the back. I found this to be very comfortable. I like the shape that it gives the dress. This dress was also the perfect length for me. Now you've probably noticed that I've been on a kick with dresses. I've just really been into them lately. And I've shown a number of navy blue dresses and I've even shown a few that have this clip dot texture. And every time I've shown one, I love it, but I always think I wish it had this or I wish it didn't have that. This particular one from Mod Lily checks all the boxes and I'll tell you why. They're calling this the chiffon. They call it cut flowers and that's what I'm referring to with the clip dot texture. It's navy belted dress. It is $41.99 and again, I think that's a very reasonable price for a one and done outfit. The fabric is 100% polyester. This dress also has super easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold. I would definitely turn this inside out when I'm washing it because of that clip dot texture. And then you can tumble or hang to dry. This dress is so lightweight that honestly, I would probably just put it on a hanger and hang it to dry, but I digress. This features easy pullover styling. It has this flattering surplus neckline that is tacked in place. Can we get an amen? I wish that all dresses had this feature. When I use a safety pin, I never get it in the right place. It always sits a little bit wonky. So right where this is tacked, and again, I have narrow shoulders, it did not show too much cleavage. I was so relieved about that. This dress does have a zip back closure. The bodice is semi-fitted, and then you can cinch it in a little bit more with the belt and then it has this beautiful clip dot chiffon layer over a lining and then it has an asymmetrical high low hem that crosses over there is so much that i love about this particular dress compared to ones that i've shown you previously a lot of you tell me that you do not wear sleeveless and i get it there are certain things that i'm uncomfortable in too this, in my opinion, has the perfect sleeve length. It is longer than a cap sleeve. You still get that pretty clip dot detail and it's sheer, but you really don't see your arms. It's a perfect camouflage. I think the combination of this particular sleeve length along with the flattering v-neckline give this dress such a classic gorgeous silhouette my favorite part of course is the overlay of chiffon that has all of this clip dot texture and i do want to point out that this dress is lined through the bodice and the skirt to the knee i think that was a smart way to do it because the low part of the high low hem just drapes so beautiful and is very lightweight and ethereal looking to me. Here's what the back looks like and you can see that it does have a full zip. I was able to put this on easily by myself and change out of it. I love this one so much. I would love to know what you think about it, especially if you've watched my previous videos because you know that I've shown a bunch of navy blue dresses with the same texture but I really like the version with a little bit of arm coverage. So be sure and let me know what you think. Let's look at the next piece. The next dress that I have to share with you, I really feel like you could dress up or down. I think this is a very versatile piece and I absolutely love the color of this one. They're calling this the belted purple cross front sleeveless dress. It is under $25. Again, I cannot get over the pricing. I do want to point out that on the Mod Lily website, it says that the fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. I honestly do not feel any stretch in this. The tag that is sewn into the dress says that it is 100% polyester, and I think that that is accurate in this case. It says that you can wash this separately or dry clean. I never dry clean polyester. I would definitely put this in the washing machine on the gentle cycle with 
with cold water and call it a day. And then I would either hang it to dry or tumble dry. This features pullover styling with a flattering crisscross V neckline. This dress has bust darts to flatter the figure and a collar that really elevates the look. There is a matching self tie that you can remove. You can use the belt or not. This dress does have side pockets that add a little bit of visual interest. Whether you choose to actually use the pockets or not, I was a little bit curious, so I wanted to see if my cell phone would fit in the pockets because it seemed the right shape. I do have a full-size Samsung Galaxy phone, and you can see that it pretty easily fits in the pocket, but the way the pockets are made, it doesn't make it bulge out, so I was happy about that because sometimes I don't want to carry a bag if I'm just running errands. This dress does have a front slit, and it starts right where the bodice stops. But because it is a fold over design and goes all the way through to where you see my hand at the other side, it did not blow open when I walked around in this. It gives just a little peak of leg without too much even when you're walking. I love this deep rich purple and now that you can see it next to the dress that I started this video in, you can definitely see that this is more of a lavender and this is a true saturated royal purple. I just love this color so much. I would love to know what you think of this dress, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Let's look at the next piece. The next piece that I want to talk about are these pretty sparkling earrings that I have on, and I want to talk about them for two reasons. One, if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I absolutely love jewelry, right? But also, sometimes when you're placing an order, you need just a little bit more to hit the minimum to get free shipping. I do that all of the time. So I wanted to show at least one pair of earrings. They're calling these the Gold Star Rhinestone Earrings. They are $6.87. I cannot believe it. These earrings have a fun horizontal crescent of rhinestones and then a tiny gold toned star. I also love the fact that the two chains that cross over each other have different link styles, so it really makes them sparkle, even from back here. I think these are so pretty. Speaking of hitting the minimum for shipping, Mod Lily does offer free shipping if you place an order of $69 or more. They have a 30-day return policy. Mod Lily offers their affordable fashion in sizes small through plus sizes, so there is something for everyone. The styles vary greatly, and there's a wide size range, so it's very inclusive. I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't mention that when I placed the order for these pieces, it took a bit of time to deliver. And I mention this because you all know that there are shipping issues throughout the globe, so I would allow a little bit of time and grace, especially if you were ordering a piece to wear to a particular date-sensitive event. Take a moment to take in the pattern of this dress and tell me if it reminds you of anything. They're calling this the V-neck butterfly sleeve printed dress. It is $43.98. According to the website, the fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex, and I would say that's accurate. That's exactly what it feels like to me. This also has super easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold, and then you can tumble or hang to dry. This features a flattering tacked V neckline. Again, I'm always a fan when they tack that when it crosses over. It does have a back zip for a fitted bodice, and I want to point out that it has a V-neck in the front and the back, which makes this dress very flattering from any angle that you look at it. It has this pretty butterfly sleeve detail that is loose and breezy, and then a dramatic A-line skirt. Now, before we talk about the pattern, I do want to mention that on me at 5'4", this dress was substantially too long for me. I had on the highest wedges that I own, and it was still a couple of inches too long, which tells me that if you're taller than I am, this would be a perfect maxi dress on you. So I'm looking at this pattern, and I love the colors, by the way. It has yellow and peach and red and blue and white. I think it's a fun pattern. And I kept thinking, this is reminding me of something. What is this reminding me of? Is it just me, or does this give you a Dr. Seuss vibe? Let me know in the comments down below. But here's the funny part. Even though I think this has a Dr. Seuss vibe, I still love this pattern. I think it is so pretty and so unique. I have never, 
ever seen anything like it. And the more I stared at it, the more of a Dr. Seuss vibe I got. But as a child growing up, I loved the Dr. Seuss books. So maybe it's the nostalgia that drew me to this in the first place. Now I realize that a bold print like this is not for everyone. And I go through kicks where I just love to wear something vibrant and fun. And this definitely fits the bill. The fabric has a nice weight to it, so it's not going to show every lump and bump. Of course, it falls away into a gentle A-line maxi skirt anyway. I think this dress is fun. I would love to know what you think of it though, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Do you see a Dr. Seuss vibe? Is it just me? Do I have lipstick on my teeth? <laughs> oh no. I hope that hasn't been there the whole time. <laughs> Am I even in the frame? <laughs> They're calling this the flounce rust orange v-neck swim. They're calling this the flounce rust orange v-neck swim hen. <laughs> We're not swimming. A few moments later. They're calling this the flounce rust orange v-neck swing hem dress. Of course, I finally got it right and now there's traffic going by. Take 57. <laughs> I keep looking at the rack where I have the next dress hanging and it just occurred to me what it reminds me of. This one's going to be a doozy. <laughs> If you liked this video and you'd like to see more like it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.